Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shubh Agarwal and I welcome you to Holistic Workshop. During these turbulent and uncertain times, I want to provide you some good news and hope. Besides boosting immunity, taking common sense measures, and maintaining social distance, we as a world are working together to flatten the curve. Our scientists have successfully studied these viruses in a short period of time and sequenced their genomic structure. We realize that it spreads easily and can stay alive for hours to days, but it is easily killed by using regular household wipes and heat. Some more good news. Plasma from recovered patients, the so-called convalescent plasma, can give us instant immunity. This therapy has been successfully deployed to treat past infections. We can use this technology to fight coronavirus selectively in critical patients. Great hope was pinned on this Proteus inhibitor combination therapy, which prevents viral replication. It works against HIV. In theory, it makes sense, but when put under a practical test of a randomized clinical trial, unfortunately, it failed to show benefit. COVID-19 causes a hyperimmune response, a so-called cytokine storm, with release of inflammatory markers such as CRP and IL-6. This can ultimately lead to multi-organ failure and death. Tocilizumab is an IL-6 blocker and is now approved under compassionate use criteria in the ICU setting. A phase 3 trial is ongoing. Nucleoside analogs such as favipiravir and remdesivir are also being actively investigated as potential treatment options and are given to critically sick patients under an expanded access program for emergency use. Several trials are ongoing. It is interesting to note this dichotomy. Most of the malaria-infested world is currently less afflicted in the current coronavirus pandemic. Is it due to heat or to anti-malarial medications? Well, anti-malarial medications do exhibit antiviral effects. A 100-patient study in China showed that chloroquine is superior to standard care in treating COVID-19. Similarly, a French open randomized control trial of 36 patients shows that hydroxychloroquine decreases viral load and converts patients to serum negative by day 6, especially when combined with azithromycin. However, an 11-patient study from France using the same approach was negative. There is clinical equipoise. University of Minnesota is currently doing a randomized trial of 1,500 volunteers. However, while we wait for the true signs, we cannot put our hands behind our backs and watch people die. We need to likely start taking these medications at the earliest symptoms. Some brave physicians have already treated their communities using these medications with success, such as Dr. Ban Trong, my colleague and friend from California, and several others. Regardless, it should be taken under physician supervision. FDA has granted an emergency use authorization for these drugs. We cannot win this war without vaccines. Several academic centers around the globe and pharmaceutical companies in collaboration with the government are in a race to develop successful vaccines. Some have succeeded and are entering or are currently in phase one and two clinical trials using various platforms. I would urge you to stay strong and safe out there, have faith in nature, and together, as one big family, we will prevail. Please kindly subscribe, leave a comment, join the revolution, and begin your own journey to health and happiness. Thank you for watching.